the King's MMA, uh, for me, it's such a blessing to be able to train there under Master Rafael Cordero. Um, the way he teaches, the, his overall demeanor, man, he's so calm, but when he speaks, you listen, you know. Uh, his techniques, they're amazing. Like he teach, you, People know now if you're fighting a King's fighter, you're going to fight a guy that's going to try to take your head off, you know. Um, he teaches a style of Muay Thai that's uh, geared specifically for MMA. You know, it's a different kind of base and explosive in and out kind of base kind of style, you know. So watching my fights throughout from my first fight to my last, you can see how my, my style has changed. And he's totally developed me and turned me into this, uh, I don't know how to describe it. You know? He really was able to bring out the best striker in me, for sure. Um, as, as far as our team, we have an amazing team. You know, as you know, we have now Ben Neil Dariush, yeah, Rafael Dos Anjos, Jake Ellenberger, uh, Leonardo Machida, Fabrizio Ardu. Um, like our team alone that's in the UFC is crazy, but then we have other fighters too, amateur fighters and other pros that are coming up that are all very good fighters. And you know, it was such a blessing to train under Master Rafael Cordero. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, it's a great experience every training. Uh, where I'm most comfortable in the fight? Well, I'm comfortable in all areas, uh, especially on the feet. Coming from King's MMA, you know, this is our style. This is the way uh, we train. Uh, however, on the ground, you know, I've, I've trained and competed in jiu-jitsu extensively, and I wrestled in college. So it really doesn't matter where the fight ends up. Uh, the fight starts on the feet, though, so I'm always willing to exchange. Yeah. In addition to fighting in the Philippines, you know, which would be a dream come true, uh, my goal also is to be a representative for the Philippines. Um, I feel like the Philippines is best represented by its lighter fighters. For example, Manny Pacquiao, you know, the best boxer, one of the best boxers in the world. So I feel like in this light weights, these fly weights, uh, bantam weights, the Filipino fighters can really shine. And I feel like there's yet to be a Filipino to really shine above the rest and make a big impact in the UFC. Uh, Brandon Vera did a great job for a while. Um, but like I said, uh, I feel like we're best represented in the lower weights, you know, speed, power. You know, I bring up both those things to the table. Um, so that's really important to me in, in, in my you know, dreams of being a UFC fighter, is to really represent the Philippines. I, well, as far as the heat here, I don't mind it at all. I love the heat actually to train in the heat. Um, it, you warm up faster, you sweat more, and it's harder. So it helps you to push harder, you know, push more. I'm from Palm Springs, California. So if anyone knows, it's, it gets up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit up there in the summer. So I'm totally used to the heat. Um, but as far as the city itself, Abu Dhabi, Man, I love this place. Yaz Island, it's amazing. Um, the architecture, just the whole history behind the place, the development. Like, I can only imagine this place in five years. So I would love to come back again, hopefully soon, you know. Um, I was able to go back and forth to D Dubai as well. And the skyscraper is just the city. And the food in, in the cities is great. So, so far this, uh, you know, we're here for work. We're here to get this, bring this W home uh, with Benny. But uh, at the same time, we were able to really soak the place in, and um, I can't wait to come back. Yeah, I really don't mind the idea of you know dropping weight for any kind of advantages to drop a weight class. I mean, there's regardless of anyone's opinions on that matter, it's part of the game. You know, so people are dropping all kinds of weight to have size, strength advantage, and. Um, in a sense, I'm doing that myself. I fought primarily at bantamweight, and you know I had some good success. But I'm trying to make it into the big show and, and do something big and make a big splash, you know, in the flyweight division, which is you know a developing division. And I feel like if I can bring my power, my speed, and explosiveness one step lower, it's going to be a whole nother game, you know. I'm a average size of regular size bantam weight that you can expect but at flyweight I would, I would be a monster for sure so that's my goal is to i'm already well on track of making this weight and um once i'm there my goal is to just knock everyone out so i can understand and it doesn't bother me the whole dropping weight 
to for advantage. And that's part of the game. Thank you for tuning in to FightingLifestyleUAE.com. I'm Nolan Tickman, and you'll be seeing me on the big stage soon.